All righty, let's have a look at some answers here from this stuff from yesterday. So I keep wanting to go over there and actually write on the board now, but no. where you go, I guess. Okay, so zero to four seconds, I think here we've got eight, right? Eight, zero, minus 12, plus four, and zero. Is that what you guys had? Okay, now I asked you to also, it isn't in your page, but you'll notice that I've added it for next year's group. Uh, I asked you to find the average velocity from zero to four seconds as well. So what do you do? You take the displacement and divide by the time. So the displacement is eight. Zero to four seconds is four, so that's going to be eight over four, or two meters per second. Oh, yeah. Four to six. Which one? Sorry. Five, six. Oh, you're right. Problem is, we got to print one more copy. So that's a problem, isn't it? It is when I get to the velocities. Well, I didn't put. I just put six. Okay. Well, I'll have to make that adjustment then. Thank you. And you know what? Let's probably then point out to me before I've never fixed it. So now the average velocity from four to six is well. Actually, in this case, it's going to work out because it's going to be zero divided by whether it's two or three. It's still going to be a big fat zero, exactly. So now v bar here. This is going to be from seven to ten. If it's really minus twelve, is that right? Did I do that right? Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be minus twelve over from seven to ten is going to be three or minus 4. And from 10 to 14, I hope I did that right, so now I got 4 over 4 seconds or 1 meter per second. And the last one, oh, from 0 to 14. Now, how did you do this one? The overall displacement, let me just talk about this for a second. The overall displacement is, it starts off at 0 and it goes forward and pauses and then it goes back and then it goes forward again and it ends up where? Right at 0. It ends up exactly where it started, and how long did it take? 14 seconds. So my average velocity is, in fact, zero. zero. Even though I went forward fast, and I stayed still for a while, and then I went backwards, and then I went forward again, average velocity is zero. The same as if I just stood there and did nothing for 14 seconds. If I go out and run the track in less than a minute, like I used to be able to when I was 17, I run all the way around, and where do I end up? Same spot that I started, average velocity, zero. I know for a fact that my average velocity back when I was 17 is exactly the same average velocity as it is right now when I'm 45 years old. I just have to make sure that I get all the way around exactly. Now, obviously, my average speed has dramatically, I would argue, too. Yeah, I was a lot faster back then, dramatically. Okay. Good. Well, it says describe in words the motion of the ball. So what I mean is, like, it went forward for four seconds, and then it stayed still for three seconds, then you went backward. In fact, you even went past the origin, didn't you? Right? And then you went forward again. How far did I actually walk? Like, how far did I actually go? My answers are gone, aren't they now? I went, like, eight, and then 12 back. That's 20. And then another four. I actually walked 24 steps or 24 meters or whatever it is, but my overall displacement is zero because I ended up in exactly the same spot. All right. This time we're. Did I make any mistakes on this one, Peg? No. This one was good? And I don't have a, a diagram here. I'm going to have to maybe make it a bit smaller. Okay. So from zero to two. I could just probably just give you these, right? Yeah. 16, 0, minus 6, 0, minus 12, 0, 4, and 2. Everybody good with those? Yeah. yeah. And now the average velocities, you just take that displacement. Remember delta x refers to the position, the y coordinate here. So my average velocity is going to be 16 over 2, or 8. Meters per second. That's a e is a minus uh, twelve. It is twelve. Okay. Yes. Okay. The word doesn't work real well for drawing. Yeah.
Uh, two to four seconds, that's going to be zero again because the displacement is zero. Four to seven seconds is going to be minus six over three or minus two. K is from seven to nine, again zero. Minus 12, nine to 12 is three seconds. Minus four, 12 to 13 is only one second, but the displacement is zero. 13 to 14 is one second, four over one or four meters per second. And then 0 to 14. Now here, the overall displacement. Oh, what? Now did I start at the origin? I did not. Is that okay? Like, is that against the rules? Yeah. I mean, whatever, right? I mean, most people would sort of assume the origin is where you start, but it doesn't have to be. It's not like a hard and fast rule. So I started at uh, minus 2, and I went forward, and then I kind of started working my way back, and then I went past where I started, and then I went back to the... Now, did I go back to the start? No. I went back to the origin, but I ended up at... I started at minus 2 and I ended up at plus 2, and so my overall displacement then is? 2. Oh, sorry, yeah. My overall displacement is 2, so it's 2 over 14. And what's that number, Jordan? 0. 0.14? 3. Okay. Is that more or less good, Abby? Yeah? Kaylin? Yeah? Okay, I will pause there. All right, so I'm going to show you this uh, little gizmo here that I have. Um, this is a motion detector, and for those people who are watching at home, well, obviously they're not going to be able to see it because I'm just recording the screen. So uh, we have my track here. I got a couple of carts. I'm going to take the one off here. I'm going to use it in a bit. It is connected to the computer. All right, so with the motion detector here, um, I can move the card back and forth, and this little gizmo here on the end, uh, you guys know what sonar is? Yeah. What does sonar stand for? Does anybody know? It's actually not a word, it's actually an acronym. It's like sound something navigation and radar. Oh, pretty close. Sound navigation and ranging. Where's the O? Yeah. S-O, sound. Otherwise, snar would be kind of... Yeah. Snar. Snar. Yes. Okay. Dolphin juice snar. snar. So and back to you too. So what what will happen here is when I press the start here, you'll hear if you're all really quiet, you'll hear it. Can you hear it? Okay. So what it does is it sends out a little sound signal, and that sound signal bounces off something and then it comes back. And um, the, between the interface and the computer figures out how far away it is and then it makes a little graph here for it. Now, it's not doing right much right now because there's no movement happening, right? So let me just get rid of that one there. Get rid of that one there. I'll start it up again. And I'm going to take my cart and I'm going to do this. And is it making a graph up there? Yes. Sure it is. Now I can move it back and forth. I can push it my side. It can bounce. I like do all sorts of things, right? It's not quite flat there, so it kind of stops. Oh, 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 oh. I'll have to level it off, I guess, I guess a bit. So you can make some kind of neat little graphs. Oh, now it's stuff. Okay. So you can, um, with the graph, you can sort of figure out what's going on. What does, let me just make it a bit bigger here for you. Where did I start? How far away was I? Yeah, between, well, pretty close to 1.6 meters away, right? And I was there for a while, and then I gave it a push, and then what's happening right here? To what? To the sonar, to the snar. Yeah. Um, the snar is actually at zero, right? Yeah. Okay, the snar is actually zero, so I didn't quite get there. I didn't want to run into it. And then I gave it another push, and then I went back like this. Now, what happened in this little tiny bit right in here? Like, if I zoomed in right there. See if I can remember how to do this. It's been a long time. Uh, that's the one I want. What do you think is happening like right here? How can you tell? Just barely getting sort of flatter, right? Okay, and then right here, would you say I'm, can I zoom out now? I'm speeding up backwards? And then when I get back to close to the sonar thing, what's happening in this little region right here? Oh, 
slowing down. Now, the whole time my hand was on the cart and I was able to control it, right? I gave it a push right here, right? And then it, now, what happened when it got to the bumper at the end? It bounced. Now, what do you notice the difference between, let me just see if I can do this here. What do you notice the difference between this little peak right here and, oh, how come I can't do that? You know, it's between this peak right here and that peak right there. A lot more sharp. Why is that, you think? Because it bounced? Yeah. It yeah. Exactly. There was no, I gave it a push, then I let go, right? And it's going the same speed the whole time, and then boom, suddenly it's changed ground. Whereas if you push and then you slow down, that's what it's not, right? Okay. And then, um, Let's just see here what's going on. What's going on at this point right here? It bounced and then it came back and I still didn't touch it, did I? So what's happening in this region right here? Slowing down, eventually it came to a pause and then because the table wasn't quite level, what does it do? It starts speeding up the other way and it, can you actually see a little bit of a sort of a curve up right there? A little bit of a curve up and then at the end it starts to so down again. Now I've got two tables pushed together, so quite likely one table is kind of maybe this way, the other table might be the other way, and then it eventually, and then maybe the second table even in fact is is level and it actually flattened out, right? Okay, so that's the motion detector graph. Now you've got this sheet right here. It says um, first of all, it says uh, motion detector graphs. Uh, note away from the motion detector is always a positive direction. Now I've set it up so that let me just zoom in a bit here so it's a bit bigger. Okay, how come, which direction is positive usually? Have I got it set up like that? Away from the motion detector is always positive, right? So I've set it up to the right positive because the way my computer is, I can do it. In my old room, I used to have problems. I had to sort of flip it around and it was confusing. So. Um, where's the positive region of this place? Everything. Where's the negative region? There's nowhere. It's behind the motion detector. Is it even possible to get in there? No, no I can't. And it can be out of the over there, but it's not going to detect it, right? What would happen if I flip it around like this? It'd be fine, but it would still be? It'd still be positive, right? So all it really does, it doesn't tell me direction, it just tells me how far away. Okay. So, you've got three little ones to try there. Uh, it says, for each description, determine what the DT graph will look like. Okay, so there's three of them. The cart moves to the right, then immediately left. Cart moves slowly left, stops, then slowly right. And the cart moves left, pauses, continues left, stops, then quickly right. Now, on the left-hand side, you've got a, a spot for your guess. And then you're going to write in the actual. So, if you get it wrong, you're going to get the actual uh, correct graph there. So, go ahead and try those three. I'll give you about 45 seconds. So, cart moves to the right, and then immediately to the left. So, to the right, so practice first, right, and then quickly, yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm going to delete this one. When you hear the clicking, you can start. Okay, and I'll just zoom in a little bit there. Is that what you sort of had? Sharp. Only more sharp? It's now through no fault of his own because he's a human, he has an arm, right? So when he pushes the cart, for him to go back immediately left, what does he have to do? He has to slow down. Like he can't just sort of go fast, 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 and then boom, right back the other way. Impossible. You can try, go ahead, Ryan, see if you can make it sharper. Not bad. But you can see there's still a little tiny slowdown period there. It's impossible not to do it. You can't do it. You'll notice also down here, what's his reaction time? <laughs> I was looking for a numerical answer, Joey, but... <laughs> oh, Jake, sorry. Jake. We'll get him up here next round. Okay. So you can see Riley's reaction time is about what? Numerically. It's a little over 0.3, right? It I got, he heard the clicks, and then it takes him a little while to, you know, register and then go. Which time did he push it faster? Second time. In fact, he also pushed it faster. He also went farther and spent less time doing it, too. Did the whole thing quicker, right? Trying to achieve that peak 
but you could not. Is that what you had? Yeah. yeah. If you got it wrong, make sure you put it in the right one. Okay. Jake, come on up. Mr. We'll get the flash up here with the superhuman reaction time. Car moves slowly left, stops. Oh, then slowly right. That's kind of boring. Kind of boring one, eh? All right, so you're moving left, so you have to start over there, right? Okay, here we go. Where your oh, it's hot. Oh. oh. There was three things. This was too hard. Okay. Slowly left. Stop. 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 All right. Well, I mean, not too bad, right? Oh. Did he stop perfectly? Yeah. Not really, no. It isn't super flat or anything, but okay. But he did end up almost exactly where he started, so that's good. All right, you got anybody have that one? More or less? Okay, last one here. Who made Jordan? You come on up. You made fun of him last time. You come on up here. Can't move. Oh, you get the hard one. Moves left, pauses, not stops. Pauses, brief pause. Continues left, stops, then quickly right. So what do you mean pause? I mean just like a brief little just okay. a. Right? Nope, not that one. Pause. Very nice. And stop. Oh, is he supposed to stop in there? Yeah. Where? Where'd you stop? stop right there. That's not a stop. Yeah, the pause was good. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. Is that what you had? Yeah? Okay. Now the second half, you are to... For each graph, describe what the motion must be. So you have given you three graphs. You need to write the words that are going to make it happen, and then we're going to try and make them. I'll give you 30 seconds or so. Maybe. All right, so she has to make that... Graph. I'm glad you. Um, okay, a little steep. Now, is it going to be easy to make it just like that? Like, what's going on here? It's, it's going like. And it's taking a full 10 seconds, right? Now, how long did you take? Well, pretty close to 10, right? Yeah, it's going to be really hard to make that particular graph, isn't it? Now, you'll notice here that the, the like I started at 9, right? So it's going like, it's actually going pretty fast, but it's so far away. That's why the scale here is all kind of. But did you do pretty good? Yes. I would say so. Good job. All right, who wants to come play? There's only two left. Thank you. Again, I apologize. Is there anyone else's name that I've been messing up? Don't confuse me. I still have concussions. <laughs> um, anybody else want to come try? Come on. There's always somebody. Joey's going to... Joey's going to... Try to yeah, get over his shyness and come on up. His name is Eduardo. Okay, Joey's got a little harder one here. So, well, no, now look carefully because look, see where you have to end up. Okay. You got it? Sure. How do you do? Yeah. Well, he um, he ended up close to zero. He can't get right to zero. Well, yeah, that was like right. Yeah, he, yeah. That's, that's only accurate to about that. So he's almost right to zero. He didn't end up going further back. Now, what about the steepness here? It was supposed to be whoops, supposed to be a little bit slower on the return, right? Did he go slower on the return? No. Oh, well, let's let's give it another roll, girl. Yeah, it's 
kind of boring. Eh? <laughs> that's good. Much better. Oh yeah, that's good. So actually, now I never did actually ask you for what the what are the words here. So what would you have to do here? You would go, you would go right, oh, right stop, stop, stop very slow left. Exactly. Sorry, I didn't do that for Kelly. Okay. Uh, last one. Who wants to come up? Jason. Jason does. <coughs> Come on, Jordy, come on. You got, Jordan's got the hardest one. Oh, Jason's going to do it? Okay. Now, what's hard about this one? Yeah, exactly. you got to go slow to start, then speed up, and then stop, and then come back slow. Right? I basically gave you the answer there, didn't I, right? Right, slow, speed up right, stop, come back, slow. Not well, it's, it's pretty <laughs> tough with the uh, pretty tough with the particular scale that we have. Anyway, I sort of zoom in it, sort of use it, right? The only way that I can do it to really make it look like that, to make that maximum really big, does that look better? Maybe that's too high. Six, we'll try. How's that? That's okay. Can you speed up? Can you see the actual change here? I think so, yeah. It's a little, it's a little spot there and it's like that, right? Okay. Now, um, one more volunteer. Come on. I know there's no more squares, but come on up. Come on, anyway, come on. Come on. Oh, I'll have you, Jake, out there, right? Emily, come on up. Come on. Come on, play with the cards. Okay, George, come on up. Come on. Okay. So, Jordan, Jordan, I want you to do something like with the cart. I was going to say, I want you to go crazy, you know, but I just want you to move the cart crazy like, and then I'm going to pick Hannah to see if you can, uh, see if you can match it. Oh, that looks cute. Yeah? Go ahead. Go crazy, man. <laughs> okay, so who wants to try to match that? Come on, Adam. Come on, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Chris? Come on down. Come on. Uh, you know you want to try, right? Okay, now you got to watch the picture, yeah. Can you figure out where it starts? I'll, I'll give you the, I'll, I'll do this if you can figure out where it starts. Okay, so you got to go a little farther back, right? Okay, you're almost perfect. You ready? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, do you remember what number you started at? Like where on the where, where on there? Do you remember where? Right here. Okay. Who wants to come try? Jordan, come on up. Give it a roll. I just went up. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, look what Jason did, didn't he? Didn't you make this one? Oh, no, it was you that made it. Yeah. Right? Okay, fair. Come on up. Come on. He's playing with cars, you guys. Ah, come on up. Show him how to do it. Dana? Can I give it to Dana? Uh huh. All right, so you got to start way up, way up here. Uh, probably closer than that, right? Where was it, Chris? About there? I'll, I'll just I'll press start here and you can just check. You're perfect. Okay, so you ready? <laughs> so one thing you have to you have to be thinking ahead. Like when you want to move, you have to be moving already before it needs to be, right? Because there is there's that reaction between your brain and, and fear. It's about point three. You have to actually be trying to I bet yeah, I bet you can. <laughs> wow. 
There's probably a little bit of delay time too, like when it gets to here, it's probably a little bit behind what you're actually doing. So yeah, it's not easy. I've tried it. All right, what's your next page? I should have one here. Okay, so this will be a little, you might want to start with the back one here. These are probably a little bit out of order. Try the back one. I'll give you the answer to that in about six, seven minutes. And then the front side of that where you have to actually draw them, you'll find that a little bit challenging. And that should wrap us up for today.